Hi there, Jamie here from Poodle Press. Hope you're well. Here's a very quick tutorial on how to create a very traditional homepage where we've got this lovely banner image across the top, this hero image with some text in it, uh, with a background image. And you'll see as I scroll up, can you see how that background image remains fixed, which is called fixed parallax. Then underneath here, we've just got a row with three icons. These would typically be services or features you're trying to advertise. And then underneath there, we've just got some um, posts coming in. So these are blog posts. So it's a very traditional layout, very effective, and it doesn't take long at all to produce with Poodle Page Builder Pro, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay, so there's just um, a few steps to get your page set up. The first is to create your new page. This is gonna be your new home page. so just plus new live page. And then the first thing I'm gonna start by doing is just adding a hero module to my page. There's my first row, and I'm just gonna drag this hero section across into here. Now, I'm going to search and splash for a photo, uh, which is a free photo library. But you could also upload your own photos, or you, sh you could choose a video, a gradient, um, or a background color. But I'm just going to search for running here. And that's the photo I want to use. Just click Done. Now, at the moment, because this is a hero module, it's going to come in at 500 pixels high. I want a little bit more than that, so I'm just going to select 800 there. And you'll see that will bring that into my page now. And the other thing I want to put on here is the fixed parallax. So if I go back into the settings here, what I could have done when I was putting it in is just select parallax or fixed parallax, um, which I'll do, which will just make it a fixed parallax. You see that's starting to work. Now all I have to do is move my text. So I'm going to drag my text to the right position. And just get rid of that text. And then I'm just going to put some dummy content in here just so we've got something to see. Just replace that text like so. There we go. And then I'm just going to make that white. So I'm just going to select that as white text. There we go. So that's the hero done. And then underneath here, I'm going to have three columns with my services in. So I'm just going to select three columns. There we go. And again, I'm just going to put dummy text in here that you get the idea. You could just type your own content in here. And then I'm just going to delete these headings just because I don't want those in this particular page. And then in each of these three, I'm going to put an icon. So again, if I click on the little module icon up there, and then I'm just going to drag my icon module into here and select my icons. So you can search here. This is font awesome font library. So you've got hundreds to choose from. I'm just going to select the ones here just for speed and just insert. Now you see how the color's not quite right. So I'm just going to grab this color from up here, which I want as the actual color and then if you double click on your icons it opens them back up and you can just change the color here so the icons are very easy to edit and i'm just going to add two more very quickly let's just add that one there and then one more after that which is this one here you get the idea let's add an apple there we go so i've got my three icons and then the final step and what you might sorry what, what you might want to do is just to increase the padding there so the, the margin above this row so again if i click on the row icon here the row settings icon can you see you can set a row top margin you can set a row bottom margin as well here and i'll just increase the white space there gives it a bit more space to breathe and then finally all i'm going to do is add some blog posts into this row and you've got tons of controls in configuring your blog posts you can i'm going to say i want um two across by one down you can actually choose by category here as well if you want to, but I'm going to leave that alone. You can choose where your featured image goes uh, and loads of other stuff in here. And then you can also choose your featured image proportions, but I'm happy with that. There we go. And there's my home page pretty much finished. So all I would have to do then is publish it. So click Save Publish. Let me call it my new home page. There you go. And that's now published. Super, super, looking great. And then the final step would just be to go into your dashboard and go to settings and reading. And in here, you'll just make that page that you just created. There it is, my new home page. Set that as your home, as your front page. And you'll see now when I go and visit the site, there we go, there's my new home page all ready to go. So that's how you can create a um, really stunning looking home page, and it doesn't take very long at all.